What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now today, hey, we've got the legends here at the Great Cricketer TGC, of course, the two kings themselves. We've got something pretty special. We've got a reaction to their new live show in Bengaluru, um, presented by Akko, who I believe is their like sponsor or something for this whole trip. Um, Hey, firstly, this is big. This is big, not only for the cricketing, like, YouTube community, but just for just for the great cricket. I'm honestly so happy for them. Like, I know, I'm sure this is something that they've, you know, had in the plans for before even, you know, you know, the quarantines and stuff like that. But very inspirational. You know, I did try and ask them if I could, you know, sneak into their suitcase. If they could, yeah, just, just sneak me into the suitcase or one of the bags. Didn't get a reply, but that's okay. So, hey, we're, <laughs> we're gonna go through it. 37 minutes, get your popcorn, get your water, get your milk, get your dad, get your mum. I'm still a bit sick, so I've got my water. Um, let's this go. This episode is brought to you by Akko. It's yes. not just a free show, they get a free beer as well. Really? A free beer? Yeah, we you had to pay for your beer. <laughs> a free beer? Luckily enough, we've been to two parts of the country now, Bangalore and Bangalore Airport, <laughs> yeah, which is fucking awesome. miles away. <laughs> is it? I also want to point out a little bit like probably chubbing up with the penis. Yo! Fucking, fucking say it in my face, Ben Jud. That's why I think it's so sister fucker. Yo, what? We fucked you at the Gabba? Kangaroos, no wonder your dads never came to watch you play. Oh, man. Hey, I'm, lo <laughs> I'm loving this episode already. Let's get into it. Come on. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, man. Are you ready, guys? I'm ready. Woo. Can we give the great cricketer the biggest round of applause? And in true Bangalore style, give them a big round of applause. Yeah! They've been viral on the internet over the last 18 months. And Bravo. Sam Higgins, say hello. Woo. And Sam Perry, the two halves of the great cricketer. Oh, they're so beautiful. No. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. Woo, 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 woo. You know, it's been a while. We've had two Aussies in a room full of Indians. Yeah. This is going to be fun. This is going to be plenty of fun. <laughs> what I heard, they opened up the form and it was in 15 minutes, over 300 to 500 people who filled up that form. That must feel good. Damn. Not really, to be honest. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thought it'd be quicker. Yeah, it's disappointing. This is amazing. Uh, we are heavily jet lagged. Uh, we've had a couple of beers, and um, I'm going to forget this in about 10 minutes' time. So um, this is a wild experience. But thank you to everyone that's come. Wait, hold on. Jet lag? How far is it of a plane trip to India? I thought like India is only like up there on on a map. So like what? Like five hours, six this hours? This free show. That's a guess. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know. Everyone was saying, cash in on the Asian century, boys. We're like, well, it's literally a free show. Uh, it's it's not just a free show, they get a free beer as well. Is this a free Fucking show? No. Wow. Yeah, we you had to pay for your beer. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the YouTube analytics were right. It says about 95% blokes. So if you're a woman here, no lines for the bathroom as well. You li he likes that. This guy likes it. He loves lining up to the men's bathroom. <laughs> it's one of his absolute favourite things. Um, well, you've already introduced us, but um, this is, of course... Sam Perry, and uh, according to every YouTube comment, I'm Faf Duplessis. So, um... <laughs> Yo! How have I never seen that before? Yo! Low-key, he's got the head shape, the ears, the same hairstyle. That is crazy. Of course, Sam Perry, and uh, according to every YouTube comment, I'm Faf Duplessis. Yo, so, um, that is funny, Okay, you? if you say so yourself. Has anyone ever told you you look like Faf... Yes, literally every I've video. I've never heard that. Nathan Lyon and Faf Duplessis with a podcast, who... <laughs> Yo, that is funny. Okay, we're basically here to find out what Ben Stokes means in Hindi. <laughs> yeah, I have heard. Here, can someone tell me what is what does it mean? How you like voice it? Uh, so there is a curse. In so the... just so say it. Yeah. <laughs> fucking fucking say it in my face. <laughs> Pardon my French. It basically means sister fucker. But the sound, like the uh, the mouth shape, it makes Ben Stokes, Ben Chod. That's why I think it's so. Is... Yo! I'm a fucking guest in this country and you sit in the front row and call me a sister fucker. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> Yo! Oh man. I thought it was actually going to be like 65 minutes that bit, but that's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> sister fucker. Wow, okay. Because uh, Coley said that at a training session. Got Coley picked. said a lot of things over time. 
Goalie said a lot of things, but we won't go there right now. Not yet. Not yet. It's not in Bengaluru. <laughs> to India, and it's uh, obviously a huge privilege. So it's luckily enough we've been to two parts of the country now: Bangalore and Bangalore Airport, <laughs> which nice. is fucking nice. miles away. <laughs> We got here in June, actually, and it's like, yeah. just now, <laughs> fuck me. I don't know why I'm so angry about Yeah, it. I know, why are you angry? <laughs> um, I was doing some research before the show, Pez, about Bangalore. Mm. Uh, Bangalore cricketers. That's nice. Really. Bangalore cricketers Topical. stem from Bangalore. That's, that's no. Yeah. K.R. Rahul. Yeah. Robbie. Robbie Utaba. Robbie Utaba. Utaba. Maya Gagawal. Uh, thank you, Prasad. Thank you. Woo! Thank you, Des Prasad. Venkatesh Prasad was the first interviewee we wait, had. Wait, 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 wait. What about Shukman Gill? Isn't Shukman Gill from Punjab? Wait. We're talking about Bangalore. Never Not mind. I don't know why I was thinking. Us. I'm going to edit that out. I don't know why I was thinking of Punjab, but we're speaking about Bangalore. Never mind. Ponsa, Move on. We will speak about shortly. I'm always thinking about Punjab. For us to speak about <laughs> the most memorable thing about that interview oh, was man. that uh, about halfway into it, he asked us whether we, we knew that there was a new ball after 80 overs. And he did it really politely, which was the most alpha thing he could do. Yeah. I'm speaking to the great cricketers. They know about the 80 over mm, new ball. But my favourite Ryan Pez from Bangor, Anil Kumble. Woo! Oh. Yeah, facts. It's great to be here, and thank you so much for coming out tonight and uh, being such hospitable people. And that's all the show was. Wrap it up. This is, of course, the reason that we're here is obvious. Uh, of course, that we're... Uh, brought to you by Akko. Hey. And um, well, let's, let's do a little giveaway. Uh, if someone can name the tagline of uh, what Akko's tagline for supporting TGC is, you get a free year of insurance. Oh, shit. Hey, I need my insurance. So who thinks they can do the tagline? What is it? Oh, we find jumped. someone who can do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just... Who can do it? Hands up. <laughs> Hands right, up. Hey, this boy. Yeah. Fucking hell. Who's next? He's got an Arsenal shirt on. Yeah. Oh, he went past him. Sorry. I love you very much. Don't fucking talk. Yo. This show is brought to you by Hacker. Uh, India's uh, first uh, tech first digital insurance. <laughs> uh, yeah, he stumbled. Bad, bad. He Man. stumbled. Because we have no women who come to our shows. Uh, go again, he goes. This episode is brought to you by Hacker. India's first digital insurance company. Okay, we're about to lose our sponsorship with Hacker. Yeah, that's right. Just Just right. Tell you what, we're going to need some excitement. If I'm trying to get a sponsorship over here, I'm going to shout it to the rooftop. Now, I thought the fans were here. All right, we're going to go to Arsenal. We're going to go to fucking Berg Camp oh, here. Fucking yeah. 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 Here, yeah. Here here won't save okay. okay, yeah, good one, yeah. The this Arsenal. episode's brought to you by Akko. India's tech first insurance company. Bro. It's incorrect. Incorrect again. That is correct. <laughs> it's India's leading tech first insurance company. Oh. Okay, I don't work for Akko, so I don't know whether... Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, everyone says such wonderful things about... India when they first come here and how nice the people are and I'd believe that if I didn't have Facebook or YouTube and I've read the comments on like any video mm. oh. and you guys are fucking like you've got some yeah. anger like, yeah. there's, we thought it might be nice yeah like like it's all well and good like to if sit, you're gonna fucking say it it's all well and good for us to sit here pandering to India saying how great you guys are but let's look we have to be fucking honest about what goes on <laughs> in the spirit of balance um, we actually have placed in envelopes under random tables some of the things that are said to us on YouTube. And if you look under your table, you might find an envelope and uh, you might find a number on it as well. Oh, no. And if the man or woman who is holding that roving mic might uh, move around to number one, can number one Sorry, put their hand number up? Number one, number one, number, number one, one put your hand up. And, and whoever's at that table is willing to read yeah. to the audience. This guy's um, fucking just wait, say, he's just wait. Say this. Is there a roving mic or must I bring the mic? Who are these two assholes and WTF, what the fuck is great cricket, shut your shitty channel, then three shit emojis. Yo! Oh, fuck your shitty channel. Okay. What is great cricket, he said. Number two. Let's move the mic. He's number two over here. Number two. Bro, the biggest insult was right there to great cricket. That is just too far. Uh, even though this show is free, it's still too expensive for this shit. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> but I love that. They that get a free crazy. beer and they love that. Uh, Woo. Number three. He's holding number three. <laughs> this is kind of brutal, but uh, <laughs> what's wrong with the bald guy's eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I missed it. Wow, that got really personal. That's uh, nothing wrong with it. Who said that up? Okay, number four. Yeah, why would you say that? That's kind of mean. <laughs> He's over here. He goes, are you jealous you can't wear orange because you're so white? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
okay, you are wearing orange, so <laughs> I kind of respect it, if I'm honest. Uh, and yes. Number five, finally. Yes, I am jealous. Uh, fuck you, Aziz. Oh, yo, he, hey, he's not even reading off the script. He just said that on his own. Fuck you at the Gabba. Oh. Kangaroos, no wonder your dads never came to watch you play. <laughs> hey, it's just life as TJC in the, in the jungle of YouTube. It actually was my dad's comment, which hurts the most. <laughs> yeah, that was brutal. <laughs> Try to escape it. Come to Bangalore, yeah, a bit of an yeah. escape, ah. a bit of a holiday. Please call, please call me dad. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, the Gabba, um... The Gabba really kicked things off for us. The, ga the Gabba is what changed uh, everything. Like, it, it, yeah, oh, okay. That is when life for TGC in India started. Like, to paint the picture, it was, it was, it was seismic. I basically, I went round to Higo's house in the morning and, uh, look, the truth is we call where we record the studio, but it's just Higo's house. Nice. And we sat on the couch in the morning and we just thought, Australia's going to fucking knock your coats over deluxe. Uh, because the thing in it... Uh, <laughs> No, no, knock you over deluxe, deluxe. as well. What you've got to understand about the Gabba is that, like, the way the hue of the light bounces off the Australians, you know, with tanned, white skin, the chiselled jaw, mm. Uh, mm. The, the, the bicep of Josh Hazelwood, mm. who can't lift weights, <laughs> popping out just so. <laughs> a, rough, a, a rough crowd drinking Forex beforehand and during. Uh, the, the dark green of the baggy green. Mm. Uh, Synonymous with uh, the you know the landscape of Australia, dry. Yeah. This arid, is getting me hyped up. Harsh. We don't fucking lose at the Gabba on day five. That was when Cummins and Stark and Hazelwood were meant to do their business. By contrast, there's fucking India. No rig. No rig. <laughs> no rig. <laughs> Yo. Sleeves. Limp wristed. Shubman Gill's face is too clean. Shubman Gill is nicking. Our captain's sledging everybody. Uh, and texting. Oh! Yeah. Oh, but he's not here. Uh, it, was just, it was just one. We'd. Uh, okay, cut that bit from the live bit. Uh, we'd. Oh. Like, Shubman Gill, face too clean. Washington Sunda, who the fuck is that? Yeah, I Shado Takua, who never Bro, heard of his coat. That's, I still can't... Yeah, man. In Adarajan, what's that park shit? Yeah. No, fuck that. Who the fuck's Rahane? Yeah. Like, we don't, we don't the care. Who the fuck's Rahane? <laughs> like, Verat's gone home. We yeah. know one guy. We, we know win one that. player. We win. And that was before 10 o'clock, that conversation between us in the morning, you know? That was, that was early in hindsight. Uh, that was... But then <laughs> as the day went on, we learned that... Riggs meant nothing. The sun meant nothing. And <laughs> Rishabh Punt meant smashed everything. Hazelwood down the ground. And uh, really? we knew... And, and the thing you've got to understand about Australia is that, like, we don't give a fuck about anything else happening around the world. Life is about us. Life is about three things. Ponting, Warn, R.I.P., and bushfires. <laughs> Yo, bushfire. But, and your IPL, your fucking IPL, or whatever you call it, that we cover five times a week. <laughs> that I cover every single game of. <laughs> Click like and subscribe. That's on when we're asleep. Don't care. But It's on the worst 12 o'clock the, the game time. starts. Finish at three. We watch every ball. Of course. Every ball. We watch every ball. Uh, thanks, Wacko. But, um... <laughs> That, hey, I don't even got the sponsorship and I still watch every game. I, hey, where's my applause? That was <laughs> leading uh, fucking something. Yeah, yeah, some shit online yeah, or... Cricket coaching manual. Uh, <laughs> cricket coaching manual. Uh, but yeah, Australians couldn't ignore the rise of India on that day. That was the day Australians had to take yeah. notice of India. We knew intellectually it was all rising up and there's 1.6 billion of you and all this sort of shit. <laughs> but that was the day at the Gabba when Punt smashed Hazelwood down the ground. We were like, it's over. Yeah. It's fucking over. And that's when the Asian century begun. Uh, that's when the Asian century begun. Truly. Um, Truly begun. So we did what any self-respecting um, millennial does do we in blame. such situations. And we recorded something on YouTube. And Higo's made the most valuable swear word uh, he's ever made in his life. And uh, here we are. So that series finished one all, I think, in hindsight. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Facts. So tapes gave a good go. Yeah, and, it was good, uh, yeah, good I series. I guess like, since then, just from our perspective, to be indulgent. Like it's, there's been some moments that I think, well, I hope you guys have, have all shared with us in that time. Like, do you remember like, immediately after that series, um, England went to India and had a, they had a red hot go? 
<laughs> they tried. And they won the first test. They won. The, Joe Root won the first test. Yeah. And then. Uh, <coughs> and then Axar Axar Patel <laughs> carved them. Carved them up. It was one of, the, the one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. And Johnny Burstow goes, I'm going to sweep the fuck out of this bloke. <laughs> and he was out six times in the first Ooh. two balls. There was no ball in there. And there was yeah. a review. And it just made me so happy. Mm. <laughs> it was Facts. a real kinship between Facts. And that is the thing that you can always rely on. England just doing their part after we had been down after... India have just made us all go into deep, dark depression after the Gabba just to see England go to India and, and lose. It just, it just brought back some, some life and some love into my heart. India um, in Australia that day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Between yeah, that day. That was yeah. nice. That was a big day. finally as well. Like, this is probably my favourite moment. Uh, we, like, this was the first time that uh, we landed a big... Indian player on the show with the help of Akko as well, which was um, Shubman Gill. Oh, oh I watched that. Gillette shaven face. I did down watch the that. camera with the beautiful lips and the Facts. smile just so. And uh, <laughs> they were like, oh, it was man. a big deal for us because, like, you talk to guys in Australia, we can text, like, uh, uh, you could probably, like, you know, like, if we said to like Pat Cummins, like, can you please come on the show or whatever? Like, he's been really good to us, and he'll get online, and he'll, his his clothes will be messy behind him, and it'll just be him. No one's looking after him. You get an Indian player, and there's like six guys on the call, and it's fucking, it's very tightly controlled. And Shubman came on, lovely guy. He was good for us, and uh, and we were thinking, how how far should we go with our questions? And uh, I was like, oh, maybe six out of ten. And then he goes, ask Shubman Gill three times about Sarah Tendilka. <laughs> Oh. And Shulman was really good about it. Like he, he, he's smart enough to know that he could not say anything in the English language that could be imprinted. Yeah. But his face was very nodding, and uh, suffice to say that bit got cut in one second. Uh, Damn. That, we, we see, got... I'm gonna say because we did not see that in the actual episode about him asking about um, Tendulkar's the call as soon as that interview finished. Just saying, like, the Sarah bit's not going to work. Damn. Um, so, uh, yeah, one of, the, one of the great moments. Yeah. A lot of people be like, I don't remember that moment. I don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember that happened. You, you, it... you, know, you really pushed it. You really pushed. <laughs> I just I wanted to know about mm. his private life. Mm. Well, fair enough. And if Sachin gave him throwdowns in his house. <laughs> I... That's a... And I want to know that too. That is a valid question. Is Sachin giving, giving Shubby Boy some throwdowns? Is... Is, what's the daughter's name? Sarah, you know, standing there watching, like, is she loading back up the ball machine? What's going on? I need to know. <laughs> that was the question. Does Sachin give you throwdowns? There are so, That's a fair question. There are so many cameras that I can see, but let's tell the story anyway. Yeah. I just wanted to know that if he went round to Sachin's house, did he get throwdowns? Facts. I want to know that too. And he said, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Why? While <laughs> saying, give him to me on the full. Yeah. Dude, be cool. <laughs> and then I asked it two more times in different phrases. Yeah, and it got very awkward. <laughs> Obviously, we found out that we're going to do this show um, like in 2017, so we've had heaps of time to prepare. Yeah. I, know, I know exactly what's going to appear behind yeah. <laughs> this screen when I press some buttons. Yeah. I think it's mostly feet pics. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Payne, he's out and about. I you, said you, I think. you would have actually had to slide those, those <laughs> images in. Well, yeah. I've been making multiple presentations I at the moment. I see, so. of course, yeah. Yeah, for my only fans. Business. Here we go. Uh, yeah, see, I remember, so this video, this went viral from, like, their cricketing channel. Um, I remember when I, I think I, re I don't even know if my reaction or my review to that test match, it was on my old YouTube channel or this one. I can't even remember. Oh, look, yeah, look, look at that. A bit, of, bit of design there for you guys. Now, it's going to help for the rotation of the uh, like elevation of this mood for everyone to clap when they get that screen. So, hey, guys, um, here at TGC's most frightening moments in the Asian century. Yeah! Oh, you take pleasure in our fright, do you? Okay. You fake fucks. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hey! There's Gabba! Like these, uh, can I just say at the top, he goes, like they, they, these slides aren't necessarily in order, but fuck me, it's hard to go past this. <laughs> yeah, that is number one. In a this, was, this was the perfect I'm climb. in the way. Here you go over there? Okay, yeah. 
We, we, we literally never heard bloke? of this bloke. <laughs> going to the Gabba. So, I thought no. it was netball and stuff. I feel like that sort of sets the tone. <laughs> Who the fuck is this bloke? And, and he played a shot that we had never seen before in the Anglo world. Now, you see it all the time, but like that fucking head down shit. And, it, and at this stage, it was like 3, 30, 4 o'clock Melbourne time. My yeah. and I watching it, kissing. And... <laughs> Didn't need to say that. Just kissing. Just Is that what he just stuff. said? And right, he hit that. Right, petting. He hit. Oh, that. That's all right. <laughs> it was heavy petting. And then he hit that, and I was like, "What the fuck is that? Yeah. Why is his head staying down? I've never seen that before." Yeah. And then I was it born R.I.P. on commentary saying like Washington Sundar, what a name. And I was like, "Yeah, the King's right. What a name." But that's all he could think about at the time. <laughs> what a because name. we were like, "We're gonna win. We're gonna win. We're gonna win." Yeah, yeah, and yeah. All, all our commentators could talk about is like, he's got a good name, doesn't he? Like, right, all I fucking... can still remember this exact moment. I will never forget this entire last game. The commentary team, everyone knew that Australia, we were going to win. Like, this game was over. It was Australia. We were won. The game was done. <laughs> Who is this guy? Shock. <laughs> oh, the name's man. good. Washington. Washington, because good it's in America. That, that's what we do. We, it, it, it was shock. Yeah, yeah it was crazy. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, what, what are we talking about? He goes 80, 90 runs in the match and seven wickets, and then a couple of weeks later he announces he's got a dog and he's calling it Gabba. Yeah. He's quite good looking, Washington, isn't, isn't he? Isn't he? Look at it. Yeah. Sure he's good looking? Here we go. Why do you mock us? And then the family us? gets involved <laughs> and it's like... <laughs> Why do you mock us? Now you're fucking us in the face with your happiness. And yeah. I know. And one of the problems is that, like... Tell them pets. We, well, we love, like, I've got a dog, and I know you're in the market for a dog. Like, we love pets, That's and we know, not what and, I'm we, saying. and we, <laughs> and we know that dogs are better than us. Yeah. But we also know we are their masters. You know, like, <laughs> like, like, like they are subservient to us. And he goes and gets a dog and calls it Gabba. He's effectively saying you are Gabba is subservient to me. <laughs> And that is, that, that was big. That's crazy. That, that was a real, that, yeah, as you said, fucked in the face. Yeah, that's a big yeah. moment. Yeah. Uh, so, to, just now they're knocking down. the Gabba down as a result of this. Now, sure, it might be a bit of Olympic stuff, like in 2030, but it's mostly because Washington Sun had a no-look six, and we're like, well, this stadium is fucking dead. Yeah. <laughs> got to I, rebuild. I agree. We've got to rebuild. Must rebuild. We've got to rebuild. Yeah. It's actually, Start again. We're going to build up. And this is actually a real thing, by the way, guys. This is genuinely happening happening the gab is gone that <laughs> we're building a whole new stadium because of the yeah the the olympics in 2032 i think it is yeah. i don't even know Can I start again twin towers <laughs> so oh. then washington puts out the tweet love is a four-legged word is it mate what about domination <laughs> is a four-legged word you know Killing the primacy of cricket in your country is a four-legged word. Yeah. World, meet Gabba. Now, we spoke to uh, Australian captain Pat Cummins, and here's what he had to say about it. Uh, fair play, what can we do? They won the match. I, no, that's like... No. See, what I don't understand here I... is, like, there were so many clothes <laughs> just yeah. here as well. Uh, another indication that Australian cricket was dead. <laughs> After that he moment. Knew, he knew. He knew. He knew. Okay, second one. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, no, genuinely, this was too far. Rahane, too far. You just killed us for this great achievement. What did we achieve? We just got beaten by India's C team on our home deck that we never lose on. You're making fun of us now. And you see this little smiley face here from Mayang Agarwal. And this one from Rishab. Too much. That's too much. <laughs> too much. Another piece of masterstroke gaslighting. So we have to remember it. Thanks. From our new overlords. Uh, so this is obviously when Indian stand-in captain. Did the players favour him? Hmm. Rahane. <laughs> Jinx Rahane presented Nathan Lyon, Gary Lyon, with a, a Guernsey oh, it was to Nathan upon his Lyon, 100th test. Right. Just after India had secured a historic victory at the Gabba that killed Australian cricket. If we leave the show tonight and one of you cunts gives me a shirt... <laughs> <laughs> with like 15 of your mates friends on the back I'll probably wear it I'm not going to lie but that's not the point the what? thing about Rahane is that like he's a Rahane is understood to be a man of grace you know mm. and benevolence and dignity but like 
I don't know if you guys are football fans, but like in 2014, when Germany beat Brazil 7-1 in Brazil, Schweinsteiger did not give Neymar a fucking Guernsey. <laughs> you know what I mean? Imagine. Uh, Yuvraj did not give Stuart Broad a Guernsey, but yeah, that would have been should've. fucking good. But he was wise enough to do it in front of a billion people. It was one of the most excellent masters. Well, it got, it got worse from there. Yeah. Um, it did. Oh, that's right. Oh, this fucking moment. Just popped into the airport for a bit, and uh, a couple of days later, they had a circuit. They go out and uh, go out and where is it? In Brisbane. Yeah. And then we wake up to this 48 hours later. Oh, there's a kangaroo cake. <laughs> that's our fucking coat of arms. Our yeah. what of arms? Our coat of arms. And Rahane is given a knife. And it's yeah. fucking mafioso yeah. and shit. It's he like, lops, he, lops, <laughs> he lops lops the head oh. of our national emblem to celebrate. That's right, they actually are a pest, so actually would have been That's right, it was actually yeah. quite good. Yeah, facts. I was going to kill in Brisbane in a couple weeks' time, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brisbane's got a bit a of a here. problem at the yeah, moment. Yeah, they are yeah, yeah, a pest, yeah, yeah. in the fucking backyard. Um, uh, okay. Natarajan's chariot. Okay, so, this... and, and this was like flow on stuff, wasn't it? He goes yeah, like, yeah, yeah. so we were dealing with the ramifications of the Asian century, Australian cricket being dead, you're our overlords, we're fucking dealing with it. Etc. We've got like Rahane presenting the gift to Lion yeah. as soon as the game ends. Two days later, he's lopping the head of our kangaroo. Two days after that, just to win the media cycle, this fucking Parky is on a is, is on a chariot <laughs> in his parky. home in his home state. Yo. Look out! He's fucking beaming there as that well, is isn't absolute he? Scenes. That's King. Oh, we've never heard of him. Who the this guy played freeze. Okay, first of all, he went missing for like three months after this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the fucking scenes of this, yeah. okay? Let's just break down this image. Okay. Shirtless blokes playing drums down here. That's fucking awesome. Correct. <laughs> blokes in whites at the airport. Just Interesting. Do we, do we know about just turning up at... Has anyone here turned up to whites at the airport? It's yeah. as if, like, you're going to yeah. fucking play. Well, uh, Natarajan's coming to town. How are we going to celebrate this? We'll put your whites on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, you obviously yeah. get dressed. As I'm, as I'm talking about the horses already? Yeah, 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 yeah horses yeah, 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 already yeah. there. Horses already there. Chariot? Um, yeah. I would have thought so. you got so. two choices. Yeah. Shirtless or whites? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Now, this one's more insidious, I suppose, because you guys are all nice to our faces. Again, I've read the YouTube comments. Mm. But this one <laughs> was a surprising one. Uh, Cameron Gray playing his first ODI. And, and this was like, because we've been going chronologically, but this was earlier in the tour, and this is when Australia should have realised things were about to get fucked up. Because they're playing a couple of warm-up ODIs, obviously that, that format's dead now, so it doesn't matter because Ben Stokes retired, so it's dead, apparently. So ODIs uh, used to be 50 overs per team. Yeah, yeah that's right. And so then it, England won the yeah. last World Cup and they stopped playing it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Until next year, I reckon they might play one more. Yeah. They might play one more. That's right. They might play one more 50 over World Cup and then that's fucking it. IPL non-stop. Yep. <laughs> and Cameron Green, you've got to understand, is like, he's the next big hope in Australian cricket. My and word. so this was his My debut word. for the nation. It's not his preferred format. He comes out and he's got this story about his first exchanges on the field playing for Australia. He was it's taken against, aback. He was taken aback. And this is, this is what happened, right? I was what taken aback by how nice Kale Rahul was behind the stumps. He asked me if I was nervous or not, and I just replied saying, obviously a little bit nervous. He was like, yeah, go well, youngster. <laughs> I thought it would be pretty opposite. The reason why this is genius from KL Rahul, there's yeah, two facts. schools of thought. One, KL Rahul is just a nice guy. He's just welcoming a guy to- Go well, youngster. I mean, he has just completely just put Cam Green, who is 10 feet taller than him, into this little box and said, go well, youngster. Like, come on, KL. Like, I know you may be almost 30 now, but come on. <laughs> Come on! But the crease doesn't care, says welcome to international cricket. Maybe I know you're going to be around for a while, want to get in your good side, but generally just being. Uh, Bangalore's uh, very own KRL, yeah. that it's guy's fun. favourite player. Exactly. Yeah. Hates Rahul Driver, that guy. <laughs> Sorry. KL Rahul is a fucking linguistic mastermind because he understands that the language of Australian cricket is hostility only. <laughs> yeah. Uh. And Cameron Green is in all sorts. I mean, look at these headlines. 65 media outlets afterwards just going, I thought it would be pretty opposite. I was completely taken aback by one man's politeness. And I think that was a little bit of a, a, a signal, he goes, that things were about to get fucked up and our whole paradigm of success was about to get eradicated just through one man being nice. Because everyone here doesn't know when you walk out to play cricket in Australia, Think of the worst thing that's ever been said to you 
and there's 11 of your dad saying it to your face. And then Cahill Rahul goes, good luck. Yeah. What the fuck does that mean? No, like that, a- is, that is conflicting. That is, uh, that is just going to mess with your head. You know, you've just had probably Justin Langer in the rooms telling you, mate, you are fucking nothing. You're going to go out there for a duck. And then you go out there and you've got Rahul by the stump saying, go well, mate. Go very well. <laughs> what? Is that is that true? The Jedi mind trick stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. And then you spend the next forty five minutes, yeah. nay, forty five years, yeah. thinking, what did that mean? What did he mean by that? Because apparently, that like, also what by that contrast, mean? yeah, by contrast, Coley's at mid off giving it to him. So yeah. Cameron Green's like, I'm comfortable with that. Yeah. That's what I'm. I recognise that. That's fine. Kara is like, go well, young. I recognise that. Fuck yeah. Off. Now Fuck I, off. I've planned for this. Yeah. I know that. That's every game I've ever played since Virat, I was 10. Virat 18 is yeah. fucking hammering me. It's good. And that's why we love Virat, because he speaks our language in Australia. Like, we get it. We're like, okay, you could play if for Virat us. If Virat played for Australia, he'd be fucking Prime Minister by now. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> I'm not All in right. charge of this. <laughs> the Dan Christian video. Oh! Right. Now, you guys don't know about this, because it doesn't exist anymore. No, okay, I do know about camera. this. Oh. We have, this was on YouTube, wasn't it? Haven't we seen this with Kyle James and they did uh, the interview that was on you? Didn't I react to this on the channel? I am almost certain I watched this or something with Dan Christian and Kyle James and I've definitely seen. Unless you have a VPN in China because yeah. they, this video has popped yeah. up in... Have you seen that, by the way? This isn't a bit, but I'm asking you if you've seen that this is like popped up in Chinese. What, what, what it, like, there's Mandarin subtitles, is that what you're <laughs> It's really hard to get an IPL interview, or like Christo. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So something. this, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what we're talking about. So they did put the video up, and then it got taken down. That's something. Right. He's like, yep, yeah, good. I'm like, can you bring someone along? Maybe an Indian player? He's like, I'll bring Kyle Jamison. He's like, well, I'll take Jamo. No problem. <laughs> and so we're online. We're, we're chatting with him, and like, Christo's doing well. Like, he's trying to bring a few stories to the show, and we're chatting, and we're warming up a little bit. And he ends up telling a story about... Uh, you know, and he tells a story for Kyle Jamison, who's probably sitting there going, please don't fucking say this. <laughs> so every, like, every Kiwi that we've had on, everyone knows that they're so nice. Hmm. But we know that... <laughs> Skeletons, exactly. Skeletons. Everywhere. And, like, just even open up with Kyle, who we never met before. And he's tall, right? So... Yeah, big fella. What are we going to do? Not ask him how tall he is? Yeah, fella. Not objectify him for his height? Yeah, what am I, a fucking idiot? Yes. Mm. Set up this whole long thing about how he's done so well in his career and, you know, he's doing really well so far and his IPL's on the horizon. And, and by the way, how tall are you, mate? Six, seven. <laughs> Not really banter going on there, yeah. KJ. Yeah, I didn't like that. No, I'm good. <laughs> hey. Christo starts telling this story about how, um, you know, or, or like, you've got to, you know, if you're talking to RCB guys, like, they know a Coley question's coming. Like, you've got yeah. to ask about Coley. It, it, it's silly. Like, they'd be very indie not to ask about Coley. Mate, there's a, there's a guy on the front row who's expecting a Coley question on your behalf. <laughs> Love Coley. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking relax, man. I can see you on the edge of your seat. Just fucking calm oh, down. Like, <laughs> I know that's, that's a bottle Pez, but just... Verat will score 100 again, Please, probably. Can I just talk to you? Can you, can you unclench your fist yeah. while I tell this? It just... Please. Uh, is this just something that happens? We're learning from it. We're exchanging information. It's just a dry spell. It, yeah. you know, He's we, vegan now. We, lo- we lost out of this. Virat won. It's okay. Yeah. Anyway. And Christo goes on to tell this story while Jamo's sitting there shaking uh, about... How, how Vera was like, oh, I'll face you in the Nets, you know, before the World Test Championship final, just if you want to bowl the few Jukes balls. And Jamma's like, oh, I don't think I'm going to fucking do that. <laughs> and uh, next minute, I wake up in the morning, and Christo's texted me like four or five times. I won't read it, but it was essentially, please take down that video as a matter of urgency. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mine and others' contracts rely on it. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh, you, clever, you like that, do you? You like censorship. Okay. And then during the entire World Test Championship final, people were talking about it in commentary. Yeah, and, and Jammer got him out twice, so it was a correct decision for Jammer to bowl. Yeah, I know. But I think this, the point with this was like, until this point, with our frightening moments, like this yeah. was like, this is basically scenarios where like Indians have just been nice and dominated us and we don't understand it. Uh, like presenting gifts and, you know, saying good luck and stuff. This was just a raw exercise of power. Two things could have happened. Virat didn't want to be mocked or Nags was unhappy with our popularity. Uh, <laughs> you can actually... The man, Mr. Nags. We trace Virat's slump in form so this to, is, to this the is release f- of that video. Yo! <laughs> v- yeah. <laughs> Very controversial. 
So this They're is to blame. the Rats' entire career graph, yeah. so which I made. Oh. Paint. I went through every innings, watched yeah. every ball. Yeah, you made that in Excel. I made that. Yeah. yeah. This one. This one was 77 again. Yeah. <laughs> I've had Oh, I remember months. that one. Um, uh, and then yeah. But there's a, there's a bit of a. It's a, yeah. it's a bit of a Bitcoin happening. When, when did that? I'm just <laughs> asking you guys. Just. Yeah. So what? When? What, so that was his last hundred. That's a little while ago. So what are we looking at? Quite, that's quite a long time ago. Yeah. When, yeah. Did, that, when did that happen? Uh, just having a look. Yeah. Now. Just. If we could just get it there. I'm just more rest. seamlessness. Yeah. Right. So. Okay. So. That's interesting. In, isn't it? Bro, that and is... I still wonder why that RCB video got taken down because I reacted to it on the channel, and obviously I had to, like mine got taken down as well. Um, like was just removed. Um, because as soon as that theirs was removed, mine was banned in all countries and shit like that. So it made sense for me. I just thought it was a regular like issue um, where it's like, oh yeah, RCB, they don't want this content on here. Whatever, take it down. They do that all the time. But why did it like? Who cares that Virat wanted to face a few Dukes balls in the net? <laughs> Is that not just being a part of a team and wanting to help each other out or? Asking a question, like, who cares? What the heck? It's interesting. The RCB video got taken down, and there's yeah. no hundreds. He averaged yeah. 52 here, yeah. and fuck all down here. Yeah. Hey, and it, and the TGC got the impact. Oh, yeah. Now, this is probably a personal favourite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you need, like, look, do, do, do people remember Mo Shammy wearing a towel during the yep. World Test Championship final? All we need to say about that in terms of what frightens us about it is that, like, showers are basically a place of, like, um, it's a sacred site, symbolically, in Australian cricket. <laughs> it's just, not a very religious country, is it? It's we not. Have, we have the showers. showers. Showers in the great scene is, like, really where you make your name and where... Uh, I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> make your name. It's, it is. It's, it's where your status is sealed. It doesn't matter what you do on the field. If you're good in the showers, you're going to be OK at the club. Facts. The one thing we had was, like, yeah, one Indians, um, out of dignity and respect, don't really tub that much. And then all of a sudden, Mo Shami's standing on the fucking test match field with a towel over him. And now we knew that we were dead. Like, truly. Look at, yeah. have a, have a, look at him. He's fucking on the field. Look at this. Like, I also want to point out a little bit, like, on? probably chubbing up with the penis. <laughs> oh. With the penis is what I just said. <laughs> How do you chub up? Oh, with the penis. But, like, England, I've, never yeah. been, I've never been cold and I'm like, oh, geez, the, geez, the tummy could use a bit more. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know what? I'm a bit cold. Can someone bring me out a thin cotton towel? I might <laughs> just put that around. <laughs> is that Egyptian cotton? Yeah. Bro, yeah. like, uh, they get given, like, the sweaters. They get the over-cotton things. Like, and bro. Yeah, finally. The last one. Last most frightening moment. Yes, we remember this kid. Yeah. Shout out to the nine-year-olds that got in. Mm. Okay. Do you want to set, um, set this up? Is that so Don this Bradman? is Bradman's 100th 100. Okay. And he did it at the SCG in 2006, I want to say. <laughs> so that, yeah, no, oh, I'm, not, I'm not great. It was pre-pandemic, so I sort of lose track of time a bit. Oh, seven, honest. I think it was. Um, um, how's Brad, that Brad, Brad. fucking salad on Keith Miller? Yeah. Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Woo. Anyway. So this so is real. Because Bradman was the greatest ever. We get a yeah. lot of pride. And, and he's, he's playing against oh, India. Yeah, it's my type of shot. Yeah. Now, I just want to say how he brings up his 100th 100. I just want you to keep an eye on the bowler when that happens. And, and, just the, and the standard of bowling? Just watch the bowler. Just watch what him. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. What's he yeah. doing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, that's what Bradman had to compete against. Well, we, we built a national mythology over Bradman batting in a business suit against that shit. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> now that, to us, that's what India was pre Gabba, like that's yeah. what we had to compete against. Some fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Should I do it again? No, no. It was too good the first time. Um, too good the first time. So that's that was Bradman, and Bradman is like, well, he's, he's, he's the best, right? He's... Don't you fuck out? <laughs> are you fucking? Are you disagreeing Who's better, with that? Who's better than fucking Sir Don fucking Donald, Donald Bradman? I'll fucking fight everyone in this in this fucking. <laughs> Yo! Yo! Fuck is it, mate? Everyone's dead here. Oh, fuck. Wait, what's being chanted? Fuck you guys! Uh -huh. a disrespect to a free show <laughs> with a free beer. Satchin was pretty good.
Sajin was good. Oh, that was saying Sajin. Yeah, Bradman man. said, yeah, he reminds but me of Bradman me. But was, Bradman was twice as good. Yeah, come on. Bro, fuck. did you guys see? Like, no, I'm sorry. Go back. No one is 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 hitting the ball as clean and as beautiful as honest, Bradman. Um, how's Brad, 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 the Brad, fucking salad on Keith Miller? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Right, are you kidding on, me? Come on. Yeah. Anyway. So, so this let's... Because Bradman was the greatest ever. We get a yeah. lot... Bro, right, like, all right, we've got a junior lass of right, and, right and there. And he's playing against India. Hey, that's an okay ball. That's okay. That's Next one. Said. Next one. Now, I just want to say how he brings up his 100th hundred. I just want you to keep an eye on the bowler when that happens. And, and, just the, and the standard of... All right, now watch this ball. Bowling. Just watch the bowler. <laughs> just watch him. Yeah. I'm telling you what, Sachin. He's not going near that. <laughs> Are you disagreeing? Right, oh, f I think we're back. Freak show <laughs> with a free beer. Sachin was pretty good. Sachin was good. Bradman said, yeah, he reminds but me Bradman of me. But was, Bradman was twice as good. Yeah, come on, <laughs> fucking hell. Did you say Watson? <laughs> say Watson. <laughs> oh, Washington. Wash wash you say Washington. Oh, Washington. Oh, Washington. Oh, Washington. Oh, Washington. Oh, of course, Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Washington soon does better than Sorry, just, uh, actually, Donald Bradman. Yeah, people okay. do compare that a lot. I said that on Twitter. Washington. Sundar or Sir Donald Bradman. Yeah. And Who now, would you rather? Yeah. Anyway, fuck you, throw me there with that. That's, yeah, yeah. You've absolutely done me. Well played. Asian century stuff. So that's what Bradman played against. So Bradman was like the best, right? Yeah. Just fucking, yeah, you Agreed. guys. Agreed. Fucking yeah. hell. No, just everyone me something. Spent. This is all, Bradman's dead. It's all we have. <laughs> fuck, they don't want to give it, do they? Woo. Fuck yeah, me. Just, how can you not want to give us Brad? Fuck you guys. <laughs> anyway, so um, Clary Grimmett got uh, Bradman out 10 times. So Bradman, like, as we've just all agreed oh, in this room, is that um, Bradman was the best. Clary Grimmett got him out 10 times. Oh, he's he bowled. Oh! <laughs> Bradman was a good player. It was quick on his he feet. He was good. He was good. He got to the pitch. He was good. Look at it. Yeah. Oh, that, that got Bradman out 10, 10 times. Yeah. He 10 got, times. Nobody That's got unreal. Bradman out more than that. No, nah, no Ooh. one. Bradman was the best. Bradman was the best ever. He was Bro, there is plenty of Jasper at Boomer about that run up too. I'm telling you what. There's plenty of heat coming from that ball. I'm sure there's a bit of in swing coming off the seam. <laughs> it's the best to ever play the game and that the best. That's that the guy best balls bowler in a cap. of all time. Yeah. And he's in some sort of detention center. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. He's very roped in. Uh, yeah, oh, detention center stuff. Anyway, so in from? our world... We're, we're trying to make sense of this, right? So we're, like, we're trying to apply it to modern standards. And a couple of years ago, uh, a guy you might have heard of who plays for Australia called Steve Smith Woo! had a pretty good series against England. And no, he scores Pez, runs in India. Pez, they won't know who he is. He used to play for Rajasthan. Yeah. 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 And Delhi when he got Life a game. The Daredevils, <laughs> yeah, that. Under Ricky Ponting. <laughs> So we, we were trying to make sense of that, like because a lot of people at the time were saying Smith is the best since Bradman. Yeah, because when we spoke to him, which you're about to see, this was like six minutes after the 2019 Ashes, where it was like in Australia, we were like, "Fuck, this is this is the best since Pete. Washington Sundar." <laughs> and so we, we we put it to him. Okay, so um, Clary Grimmett was a guy who got Bradman out ten times, and uh, Sam and I here at the Great Cricketer, we um, we decided to go through. Clary Grimmett and how, how good a bowler he was. We've got Bradman out 10 times, must be pretty good. Quickest so, to 100 wickets. Quickest to 100 wickets, yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to show you Clary Grimmett here bowling. Uh, he just played. <laughs> he got Bradman out 10 times. He got Bradman out 10 times. <clears throat> <laughs> good use of the front arm. Good. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. Bro, that third ball was fu That was unreal. Yeah. Mm. How do you reckon you would have gone facing that? Oh, hopefully, hopefully smack it everywhere. <laughs> Jeez, it looks like he lobbed a few out there. I don't know. Ooh, bit of mystery <laughs> spin about it. <clears throat> he got broken out ten times. He got broken out ten times. So right. I got out to good. Dean Elgar twice too. <laughs> <laughs> Dean Elgar. Now this is what we're competing with now. A little bit inside out, if I'm yeah, honest. But that's right. Yeah. Um, this child has a better technique than 75% of first-class cricketers in Australia. Yeah. Uh, who play professionally Yo! now? I mean, it's not going to stop me from. Uh, I guess analysing him, he's a little bit out in front on the forward defence, yeah. uh, and uh, that that back leg doesn't need to drop when he's yeah. And to be honest, I did not like the way he played that that um that sw that 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 scoop shot. It it just it just 
really looks like he's, he's every chance if that ball comes in a little bit more that he chops it on. Wait for it. Australia. Uh, See, right here, guys. Play. See, right there. He caught it beautifully. But if that if that's a bat and he snicks it, he's probably out. So, um, yeah, I'd be giving him a thousand more throw downs tonight. Not letting him eat until he uh, plays the shot properly. Professionally now. I mean, it's not going to stop me from... Uh... Uh, I guess analysing him, he's a little bit out in front on the forward defence yeah. uh, and uh, th that back leg doesn't need to drop when he's cover driving yeah. but uh, off the pads it's pretty good and yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> I think he'd go pretty well against Clary Grimmett. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that is so Now we so did some research into this guy and he's actually 27 so it's actually a bit of a... <laughs> not nearly as good as what you think. Despite the entire high point of this evening not working, <laughs> that's our scariest moments of the Asian century. Thank you. Thus far. Hey! Hey, oh, hey, no free shout outs on the channel, baby! Hey, shout out to the lads at the Grade Cricketer, two absolute legends right here. Um, firstly, original link in the description. Secondly, nothing really second, just subscribe. Love you all. <laughs> See everyone in the next one.